All right, we are one day out to the Vancouver Diamond Cup, IFBB Diamond Cup here in Vancouver, and uh, yeah, home stretch here. This is the this is the last day, the day before. Lots of fun stuff going to happen here. Got the uh, athletes meeting. Got to do some tanning work, a little body trimming. Got to eat my Timmy's blueberry explosion donut. Yeah. Don't judge me. It fits into my carve ups and it's my little treat. So now I gotta walk back and uh, deal with some of that body hair and throw another coat of tan on, spray tan, and then try and get some exercise in. Bike ride a little bit, gonna do some posing, do some more walking tonight, obviously do the athletes meeting later on. And I'm gonna kill a burger tonight. That's gonna be my my last dinner to my burger. I'm gonna have a Wendy's double, lettuce wrapped with a baked potato and a small chili. So maybe I'll get some video that. Here we go. One day out. Athletes meeting. Not a big show. Maybe 50 or 60 people. Doing our weigh ins and hiding, registration, all that stuff. This, this is part one of my Wendy's meal because their baked potato isn't ready. So it's a lettuce wrapped uh, double cheeseburger. No bun. And then my baked potato, sour cream and chive, and small chili will come later because I want to mix the two. So we'll start with this. All right, part two. Small chili, baked potato with uh, chives and some sour cream. And I'm gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna kind of pour that into there. It's gonna be tasty. Hey everybody, crazy lighting going on here. It's kind of bright. Sun's hitting me. It's okay though. It doesn't matter. You can see me. First off, that Wendy's meal was fantastic. The burger with the lettuce wrap. Um, let me tell you, it was like it. It was like butter. It just dissolved in my mouth. The, the patties are so fresh there. So um, you know, it was fantastic. And then, highly recommend if you do get that sour cream and chive baked potato that you throw some chili on there. Just I smothered mine in chili. It was just like all covered in chili. I should have taken video of that, but you can imagine, baked potato, chili all over it. I kept adding more, I couldn't get it all on. So as I ate, there was more room to put chili in there. So I just kept adding it. And uh, yeah, so um, I'm not over full or just perfect actually. Um, you know, I could still eat. I mean, at this point in, in the game here, I could just continue eating and eating and eating, but I feel good. And we're gonna go home. I got some snacks planned for later on. Now let's get to the show. Okay, so what happened at the athletes meeting? I had a ton of questions because this entire changeover of the organizations and with this new um, IFBB elite thing going on um, with the elite uh, organization that's kind of part of it now it, the rules are different everything's different like they have classic physique they also have classic bodybuilding they have more muscular physique all these crazy classes and it was confusing on the website um, I wasn't sure even if there was classic physique or if it was classic bodybuilding um, <clears throat> it's a very very small um, show I'm gonna say that it's a small show I would be surprised if there's 40 people competing in the show I looked around there are very few masters um, and as it turns out I might be the only masters physique and the only masters classic physique so I asked the judges 
I said, well, what's going to happen here? I said, the reason I entered this show is because I wanted to compete in Masters and get my pro card in Masters, you know, if, if I did well. Obviously, not just give it to me, but, you know, deserve it and get it. I said, what happens if I'm the only guy on stage? Like, what do you guys do? Like, do you give it out according to whether you feel the person deserves it or not? <clears throat> and it looks like pretty much I'm guaranteed a pro card um, as long as I go on stage and do my routines or whatever and, you know, do, do my part. I'll get a pro card because I'm the only guy. Is that the way I wanted to get my pro card? Not exactly. <laughs> um, it is what it is. I mean, I, I, I've been training for this show. I got to go through the motions. I got to do it. So what I, I talked to the judges and they said I could, I said I wanted to compete. I didn't want to just stand on stage by myself too. I mean, that's great. I get a pro card. I stand on stage. I do my thing, all of that, get some photos. But <clears throat> I said I wanted to compete. I wanted to compete against people. So I'm going to be competing um, in open physique and classic physique open. So I'm not going to do master's classic physique because I only really need to do one master's class to sort of guarantee the pro card. And there's just really no point in me doing classic physique masters all by myself. Um, it doesn't make sense. And plus it does cost money. It costs an extra $80 for each class Canadian to do these things. So yeah, sure. I get a little plastic trophy for 80 bucks, but I get to do all the same stuff in open I can do all my posing and all of that stuff in open so I'm gonna do open and actually compete and you know I was looking around there's some other guys doing classic physique they look pretty good so you know do I expect to do really well I, I don't know I'm, I'm not a big guy for classic physique I'll, I'll do okay I think you know as long as I uh, could be nice and tight tomorrow everything comes together which it should I, I'm expecting it all to come together for tomorrow not like the last show and, uh, you know, um, physique, I don't know. Um, I think I'll do well in physique, even in open. We'll see, right? I mean, it, it, I'll be able to compete at least. At least I'll be judged against other people. And that's really, you know, I didn't come here to be judged as the only person on stage. <laughs> that's a pretty easy way to, I mean, that's not, not too hard for the judges to figure out who won, right? So um, that's what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, at this point, I would have liked to have been competing with other masters and actually work for the pro card. But you know me, I have worked hard for a pro card. I've done many shows. I've done many overalls. I've come very close to getting a pro card a few times. So, um, so you know, maybe this one time uh, it's a little easier than the other times. But maybe, uh, maybe I've worked hard enough for it. I don't know. We'll see. You guys, you guys be the judges of that, okay? All right, this might be the only video or the last video for tonight. I'm kind of beat. I'm a little bit, you know, I don't know what to think. Uh, I'm not upset. I'm just kind of a little confused, a little bit, um, you know, I'm, I'm still processing kind of the information that I just learned about. So, um, you know, all I can do is just have a good attitude, go out tomorrow, perform my best, uh, just have a good time and just represent, uh, represent you know me represent the over 40s crowd and just uh do my best all right thanks for watching all right this is going to be the last video for sure today got some light above me here so just out for my last walk it's about i don't know got my thing going but it's about 10 just after 10 8, 10 p.m um so i got home uh, did some posing, worked on my classic physique posing because now that I'm doing it for sure, I wanted to just make sure I had everything the way I wanted it. So I think we're good there. You know, always make little mistakes, they happen, whatever, but I'll just push through it. Um, I didn't talk about calories and all that stuff, so I figured I might as well just finish it up, the, you know, finish up the week. Tomorrow I'm not going to talk about calories because... There's no way it's getting tracked. It's going to be a mess. But, um, yeah, so for today, I ate about 3,600 calories because it's my big carb day. About 550 grams of carbs, about over 100 grams of fats, a little bit more fats because I did have that burger and stuff. And um, protein about 170, 180, I think, something like that. So not too bad. 
but you know, we're keeping it over 150 most days, even while carving up. Usually on non-carb days, it's a lot higher. Exercise. Got a lot in today, and I'm happy about that. So I'll probably, after this walk, have somewhere like 2,200 calories burned. Um, did my morning walk, burned at least 400 calories in my morning walk. My bike ride was like 1,100 or something close to 1,100 calories um, when I went to the tanning thing. And then posing was about 300 plus calories. And then this walk will be about 300. So, and then you pick up a few calories here and there, some various steps. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know how many miles I walked. I think I rode about 12 miles, maybe, yeah, somewhere around that. Um, walked, I'm gonna say after this walk, I'll probably have walked five to six miles, something like that. Um, yeah, many, many hours of activity. In terms of uh, how I'm feeling, this day, the, the day before is always a bit of a, a mess. It's always an emotional roller coaster. You're not sure, you know, like, you, you go to the meeting and you see the other people and you, you're you not sure, you know, how do you fit in with everybody? Um, do you measure up? Those types of things. Did, did you get lean enough? Did I get lean enough? You know, like, did I do enough work? You know, but it's, it is what it is. I worked hard. I worked really, really hard. I stuck to my program pretty damn good. I ate what I was supposed to eat, got my calories in, what I was supposed to eat, burned calories that I was supposed to burn, got my workouts in. It's getting harder and harder and harder though as I get older, definitely, to lean out. Gotta push it harder and harder. It's just getting older, it's just the way it is. Three, four years ago it was easier. Even last year it was easier. So, um, but you know, I feel I've, let's get dark. I feel I did what I could, I did everything I could. So, you know, the show isn't exactly what I expected it was gonna be, but it is what it is. You make the best of every situation that you can. I'm gonna go and have a good time. I'm gonna give my best performance I can. I'm gonna step on that stage, I'm gonna pose the hell out of it. And, uh, you know, I should get that pro card. It's almost, it's almost a for sure, unless I, maybe I fall off the stage and pass out or something. But uh, other than that, I think the pro card's mine. Not exactly the way I wanted to earn it, but I've earned it in other ways, maybe. All right, I'm gonna sign off here, finish my walk. It's gonna take a little bit, and um, I'll see you tomorrow.